Guten Tag and hello, I'm Lyle from Dragon's Data Name and welcome back to The Lion Song. Last time you played episode 2 anthology and helped young Franz Markert to find himself and to find the layers of other people that he wanted to paint. This time we are playing episode 3 Derivation where we play, apparently play a female mathematician who has to cross dress to be taken seriously by her peers. That's at least what I gathered from the little preview that we got last time. And I say we just jump in. And we are back at the train station. Vienna Central Station. Oh, are you drunk? Why are you wobbling? I think this is a train. My train. This is my train! You're drunk. Okay, so they are drunk. You're drunk. Yes, we are all drunk. What is your point? We've been drunk for hours. Didn't you notice? Here now, what's this? We're seeing our friend Theodore off. We've been saying goodbye since. What is today? He said going anywhere unless he boards the train. Would you like some help with the steps, sir? Leave me be. I'm per perfectly capable of climbing a couple of steps. Bye, chumps. Uh oh. <laughs> He's not hitting the. Is the train moving? <laughs> okay, he made it. Ta da! Would you like to take your suitcase with you, sir? Very well, if you insist. All aboard. All aboard for Wiener Neustadt. So is he going to the same compartment that Otto and the other guy are sitting in? Oh, he is. <laughs> okay, so they are laughing at least. And he's snoring. I'm very curious to see where that story goes, because we have seen that uh, in the beginning of every episode. Earlier that afternoon. Excuse me, I'm looking for the radius. I'm not sure I understand, madam. The mathematician's circle. In working on this, I'm working on this theory of maintained. And what would a young woman like you want with such an August group of gentlemen? August group? What does that mean? I must speak to Professor Zala. I'm. A, I am a mathematician. I am um, have a message from the university. I am a mathematician. My theory is about <laughs> a woman mathematician. Are you indeed? And I am Archduke Franz Ferdinand. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I must see Professor Zala. He is expecting me. He is expecting you here. Now. While the radius is in session. I doubt that very much. But, madam, this is a cafe. There are patrons lining behind you to eat. In that case, I also would like to eat. I need to tend to my female necessities. And let's... yeah. Let's eat. Please show me a table. Certainly. If you will step to one side, I will see to these people who have been waiting so patiently. Then I will seat you. Oh, wow. So the misogyny in this will be strong. So what are we doing? Okay, so we are we are controlling her now. You know what I find really interesting? Every episode kind of they have become more elaborate in their animation and their episode style. Uh, they have become bigger in scope 
in some way and the animation has gotten more like the guy at the front now he like shook his head and and there was a little animation before everything started kind of that was very different from the first episode so i'm guessing that they because um because originally the game came out episodically so i'm guessing they really put more and more work into each episode that's uh that's very cool i like that a lot i can't leave yet I need to find the radius. Okay. Uh, We're not going to the kitchen then. That's the circle sign with the peculiar sign. What's that? The lavatories. I doubt the radius meets in there. Yeah, we know we we know it meets in there. Okay, so she's just walking in. No one solved it this week. Have you forgotten serum? Madam, you cannot be in here. This is a private gathering. I must speak with Professor Zahler. I am here at Professor Zahler's invitation. I have corresponded with Professor Zahler. Uh, sure, we were invited. You must be mistaken. These are mathematicians. SMI. Please announce me. My name is Regnicek. Regnicek. Oh my god, I don't know. Wreck me check. I'm so sorry. So I'm guessing this is not going to go well for her. Once you understand that the solution is child's play. Yes, we have dined. You know better than... Wreck me check. I don't recall. Alrighty. Professor Zahler, I am a mathematician like you. I wrote to you regarding Dean's recent proof about Hil Hilbert's third problem. There is some mistake. This is a private discussion of higher mathematics. My letter, name dropping young woman, is not going to get you anywhere. Mathemat mathematics is a complex subject entirely unsuitable for women. <laughs> Your brains are domestic, not logical. You know, this gets, this still gets thrown around a lot, which is so stupid. Also, I, I like that he's just disappearing in a cloud of smoke. Your yeah, you are the emotional ones, and we are the logical ones. And I mean, men are so emotional all the time, and they just don't want to hear it because they think it's some kind of weakness. It's so stupid. Please escort this woman out, waiter, and see that we are not interrupted again. There, you see, do you want to get me fired? Please leave at once. Mathematician. Like me? Ah, ha, 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 ha. He didn't laugh though. That I think that's the friend from the cafe that we saw her with with Franz. Oh, who are you? You are very tall. <laughs> he just mm, young woman. Mathematician. Little girl. Zweite Etage. My apartment. Okay, little girl. I'm Nicole. Oh, that's Nicole. That's Leo's uh, niece. Oh, yay. I've just moved into the suite on the fourth floor. What is your name? Emma Regnicek. I live behind that door you're blocking. My parents are in France. I hate my governess, Frau Schmoll. That's all there is to know about me. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, Nicole, but I'm very tired. I'm sure that isn't all there is to know about you. Why do you hate your governess? Uh, I'm pleased to meet you. Um, I'm sure there's more to know about you. Well, I'm nine and my parents are always gone. My father travels all the time for work and my mother goes with him. Why don't you go too? They say I'm not strong enough and I need to keep up with my studies. Nicole! 
It's time for your music lesson. I need to go before Frau Schmoll finds me. Oh, it was very nice meeting you. I am glad you will be my friend. <laughs> Why are you running in the opposite direction, though? I don't think that's what she meant. See, this this is so much more elaborate than in the first episode. Lion's Song, Episode 3, Derivation. I hope she proves all those men wrong, because misogyny is stupid anyway. Alrighty, so we are going into the apartment then, I guess, because we can't do anything else. Emma? Right, she called herself Emil, I think. Ooh, a state of change can be maintained. Also, I have no idea about either phys physics or mathematics, so I will probably not understand a lot of what is going on in this episode. I am more in tune with the art that was in the previous ones, but I'm still excited for it. I'm sure of it. But how can I prove it? Ah! Mathematician, or like me? <laughs> You're not a zero. Yes, I am just a woman. But I have a new idea. No one will listen. You're not just a woman. You're a woman. No one cares. Ah. <sighs> Blackboard, what do we have? Wardrobe, chair, mirror, outside. Let's look outside for a second. Uh, the radius was supposed to help me, but I didn't even get to state my problem. Hello, Emma. Oh, a chair. <laughs> Wow. Thanks, uh, devs, for that. Um, I'm glad I know that's a chair. Okay, go back to the blackboard then. It's the beginning of the proof. I know it is. There has to be a solution. Okay, do you say different things now? Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Yes. Package for Emma Ragnicek. That is me, thank you. What is it? From the hospital. Hospital? What does that mean? Open. A letter. Dear Fräulein Reknicek, we regret to inform you that your father, Jan Reknicek, succumbed to tuberculosis early Friday morning. <laughs> Fuck. As you are aware, his illness was not responding to treatment, and this is the inevitable outcome. We wanted to assure you that he passed peacefully in his sleep. And just the previous evening, his thoughts were of you. We know you share our belief that he has gone to a better place, where his suffering is finally at an end. As you know, your father requested his clothing and personal effects be kept for you. We have therefore included them in this box. You have our sincere condolences for your loss. In sympathy, Johann Klinger, Senior Physician, Sanatorium, Salzburg, Austria. God damn it. Aww. It's 
your fault, father. You raised me to believe in myself. You believed in me, but now you're gone. What good is it if no one else does? Oh, Emma. Hours later. I need to put his things away. This is a dream. The next morning. Or not. Do you have an idea? Yeah. I can't make any headway. It's no use. I have to get to the library. I'm late already. Maybe I could think more clearly if I wasn't drowning in memories. Papa. That's totally normal though. You just lost your dad. All right, I'm guessing we're going outside then. And going to the library. Oh, that's the cafe again. Work in the library, my apartment. Let's first go to the library. I really like this uh, this setup in Wien. Uh, or Vienna, sorry. That's still very cute. Vienna University Library. This could indeed be the correct beginning. But how to continue? How can I observe functions of change? Maybe I have to reverse my approach. Maybe I've overlooked something, some aspect that's missing. Reverse, reverse my approach. No. Sorry. I don't know mathematics. Oh, hello. I am returning boys own adventures. I will, it was so exciting. Pirates and soldiers and mountain climbers. Your book is overdue, young man. That will be two Kronen. Sorry. Thank you. Good day. Oh, he was so excited, though. Hmm. A small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to the hospital. When his grandmother came to see how he was, a nurse said, No change yet. <laughs> Wow, why was that in there? A joke for good measure. Why can't I see it? A state of change. That's like... A falling leaf suspended in mid-air. A full-speed train with the brakes slammed on. A cooling pretzel fresh out of the oven. Sure. I don't know what any of this means. It's a fitting image. Excuse me? Is this a good book on gardening? My roses are being difficult. The Art of the Formal Garden by Karl Dorn. Yes, madam, Professor Dorn is a noted bot botanist. So she's working at the library, but also researching at the same time, which is probably the only way that she ha even has access to all of this. Nothing I try is correct. I just don't know how to continue. Maybe you need a soundboard. Maybe you need someone else. Almost done with work for the day. Maybe I should get something to eat and just try again tomorrow. Yes. Some food from the market should change things. So she wants change somehow. That, that's coming up. Uh, th that, that's been coming up a lot. Returned books. I'll quickly put these away. Yeah, so we don't get uh, reprimanded next day, half an hour later. Okay, then leave. So we can go to the market or the cafe. But we should go to the market and get some foods. Wavra. Herrenmode. Huh. I could have sworn this was the way to the market. Window. Sign. Wavra. Fashion for men.
I wonder. No, women can't be mathematicians. Is it possible I, I could fool them? Very much so, but how could I? Father, your clothes. You left them to me. Oh, father, you left them to me. Oh, so you think that he did that on purpose? Can we go in there as a woman even? I, I don't know. It wouldn't do for a lady of my age to enter unaccompanied. Okay. That's kind of what I thought. So, maybe her dad left her the clothes on purpose so she could do exactly what she's about to do. Father left me his clothes. I could use them to pose as a mathematician. They are at home in the wardrobe. He's a, he's a cool father, that's for sure. I wish he wouldn't have to do that, of course, because it's stupid to shut out women just because they are women. Because they can do math exactly the same way than men. Wardrobe. Papa's clothes. I can use them to pose as a male mathematician and finally get access to the radius. Let's see. Which jacket should I wear? Well, you only have one. It's a bit big, but I think that will work. I don't think that fits the outfit. Shirt? This will look sharp. Uh, top hat. There's still something missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trousers. These pants will do nicely. Tie. Excellent. Pullover? That will get too hot. I'll start sweating. And I won't be able to take anything off. Very true. Take the cake. Pretending to be old or sick? That would probably draw too much attention. That's true. I don't think so. So you... <laughs> Yodel. So you do want the top hat. I need something to cover my hair. I can push my hair into the hat. I refuse to wear that old thing. Okay, then the glasses. Yes. These will make me harder to recognize. Yes, you are Clark Kent. <laughs> that should do. Let's see it then. I mean, we kind of saw it with Franz, but... I can leave the outfit on these chairs. Change. So we can just... Do you want to work on that again? No. Okay, then change. Like you wanted, you wanted change. And then we'll go back to the cafe. I can shape my hair to look like sideburns. <laughs> Hello. Who? I have it. Hello, Emil. So we should try to make our voices lower now, I guess. Tomorrow... Tomorrow, I'll leave the radius speechless. Okay. Don't you have work, though? The next day. I'm very curious about this. Now, the radius will receive Emil. Do you have a surname? Change into Emma. Oh, cool. We can change and then go to different places. Good afternoon, sir. I believe you are new to our cafe. How can you tell? Oh, I never forget a face. Extraordinary. Well, you've forgotten hers, apparently. Well done. How may I assist you? I am Emil um, Schell, a visiting mathematician from Berlin. I was told I must introduce myself to the gentleman of the radius. Berlin? How wonderful! Unfortunately, you are the first to arrive. May I wait in the back room? I have come so far to on only be, to be turned away. What do you suggest? My dear sir, of course you are welcome to wait for them in the back room. Do you see the door? Ah, the radius. Yes. Very clever. Ha! I thank you. 
Yes. Would you like some coffee? Yes. Yes, please, with milk and three spoons of sugar. Uh, no. Drinking too much coffee can cause a lot. <laughs> Why? Why do you need to make dad jokes, Emma? Can cause a lot of problems. Uh-huh. They follow me everywhere, the dad jokes. I hate them. A strangely deformed seat. What? My god, that is an impressive buttock imprint. I wonder whose seat this is. This seat is very clean compared to the others. I can't stand sitting. Why do you need to make dad jokes? All right, let's go to the blackboard. I'm pretty sure she's gonna start drawing her problem on it. Problem of the week? Keeping their minds active. With puzzles posed by Tsala, no doubt. Intriguing. And this week it's about the origin of the number pi. Hmm. Pi. No. I must prove myself by solving this. Pi. The radius. Are you for... Are you for fucking... Why? What do you want me to do? Okay, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. Ah! If I picture it like that, then it becomes fairly obvious. You sure? Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, it's super obvious. Pi is the key to the circle. Well, that I kind of knew. Yes! No, I tell you, that won't work either. The Euler method only works up to a certain point. You never agree with me. Sala himself couldn't find anything. <laughs> what have we here? A visitor. You must forgive me, gentlemen. I hope that what I have written here can serve as a calling card. It can indeed, sir. That is... Quite remarkable. Gernot Sala, at your service. And you are? My name is Emil Schell, from the Friedrich Wilhelms Universität in Berlin. I thought I knew most of the fellows at the University of Berlin, but please feel welcome, sir, to the radius. You obviously belong. Well, yes, I also belong as a woman. Oh, um. Hello. You need to... That's downright nonsense. Okay, mathematician. Good day, my name is Emil Schell. And you are? Good day, Herr Schell. My name is Stefan Nenner. You, s you said you are from the University of Berlin? Yes, that is correct. So you are a lecturer as well? I teach at the University of Vienna in the math math Mathematics Faculty. I look forward to comparing notes. Um, gladly. Zala. Ah, Shell. What is your area of expertise? Do you teach at the university? I would like to talk about my theory. Do you teach at the university? Oh, I myself attended the Berlin University. Studied under the great Karl Weierstrass himself. A gifted man. And me, of course, his best student. There were others. Ah, uh, that Russian woman. What woman? She wasn't even allowed to audit classes. But never mind that. You must surely know of Weierstrass as well. Father of modern anal analysis, they call him. Weierstrass? I'd better learn more about my colleagues in Berlin. Of course, but... So you see, I am very selective about the radius of members. So he just talks over me no matter what I say, I guess. What? Tell me. Do you know many lecturers at the Berlin University? Do you keep in touch with them? Um, some of them. But I was always the... <laughs> Do you know Robert Koch? I'm just asking because... Never mind why. Do you know him? No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a shame. 
Robert Koch? I should look at that name up when I get the time, in case it's important for my ruse. About my theory. So, Herschel, you are a professor at the Berlin University? Well, I... Of course, you must be. But probably very new to it. Actually, a supply teacher. Herr Zahala. <clears throat> what? What is it? I would like to talk about my theory. Fine. Let's hear it. Functions of change in conjunction with time and states. Um, curious. That sounds a lot like my own work. Well, I cannot deal with such distractions at this time. I need to work on my own theories. But do ask the other members. They need the challenge. So he is pretty much just a preposterous idiot. I wonder where they got it from. I don't suppose they just make these. Okay, then let's ask them, I guess. Huh. <laughs> they are arguing. I don't want to intrude. Let me introduce myself. My name is Emil Schell. Rauch. Haha. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Herr Rauch. Rauch is just smoke in German. <laughs> I'm looking for help with my current theses. What is your field of expertise? Complex analysis. Number theory. A prime combination. I'm looking for... <laughs> I hate it. I hate it, but I have to do it. Your fields of expertise. Prime. No. <laughs> I mean... Fair. I'm looking for help with my current theses. Topic? Functions of change in conjunction with time and states. Ha! Huh. Not my area of expertise. Goodbye. Okay, uh, can I talk to him again? Maybe he will help. He seems to be the most ami amicable, amicable of them all. Um, what do you teach exactly? I teach discrete mathematics. I also taught a short lesson on something really interesting a few weeks hack, uh, back a few weeks back about a process called Markov chain. I try to broaden the horizon of my students every now and then with new theories. What's a Markov chain? I am so glad you asked. No one around here seems to be interested. I'm discussing new theory and discussing new theories anymore. A Markov chain, as Markov himself describes it, is a process where one state transitions to another, with the probability of the next state depending purely on the current one. Huh, I don't understand what that means. Consider the drunkard walking on a numbered line. Each step he either moves forward by one or backwards by one. So, the next step or state depends only on his current position and not where he has stumbled already. Correct. Very interesting. Is it? <laughs> I have a question about one of the other members. What do you want to know? Tell me about Sala. What about him? Is he the founder of the Radius? Yes. Along with Eirich und Rauch. How did the Radius come to be? Well, as far as I know, Sala was looking for like-minded people. Sort of elite mathematicians, the best of the best to exchange opinions and theories on all topics mathematical. He had heard about a circle of mathematicians in London, so he decided to found one himself here in Vienna. His majesty was intrigued and agreed to fund the radius, as long as it led to mathematical progress. Eirich and Rauch were quick to join, as were several others, and over the time Wurm, then Nikic, then I joined as well. Rauch seems taciturn. He wasn't always. He actually has quite a brilliant mind, but he's a horrible teacher. Don't tell him I said that. About the two arguing fellows. Nikic and Worm. Excuse me? Those are their names. Um, the one on the left is Nikic. They don't seem to get along very well. Don't worry, they fight a lot. What about? Math, mostly. Who's the man sleeping in the corner? So that's... Was that the one from the beginning? That's Eilrich, the doctor in our circle. 
Why is he sleeping? I was subtle. It was subtle at first. He just fell asleep on time and no one noticed. Now he feels so home. It feels so at home here that he just falls asleep every afternoon. We are known. We've known him for so long. We don't really mind. I'm looking for help with my current CCs. What are you working on? Functions of change. I'm looking into change states in these kinds of functions. Intriguing, but I don't think I can be much help with that. My focus is on discrete mathematics, unmoving parts of constant systems. Perhaps one of the other members of the radius could assist you? But the mark of chain that you explained before is just that, a process of change. Just because discrete mathematics is my area of expertise doesn't mean I don't enjoy dabbling in all things mathematical. With varying degrees of success. <laughs> Take care. You too, Shell. But we have talked to everyone now, so what are we supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Should I just go outside? I don't think I can do any more here. <sighs> I came here looking for help, but these mathematicians... I'm not certain they can help. If they can't, what will I do? I hope my masquerade isn't a waste of time. Yeah, I don't think they, they could help. Maybe I should go to the library and read up on all the... Um, on all the names they just dropped. Oh, hello. Hem. No, the women stare questioningly at the two women. Hold the door. Yes, let's hold the door. What just happened? Thank you for holding the door. I trust your visit with the radius was rewarding, Herschel. If I could not remember how I was treated, I would not know to mimic it now. Every change in behavior occurs over time. I'm afraid I don't understand mathematics. You are exactly right. It is mathematics. What is your name? Maurice, sir. Maurice, yes, of course it would be. All maîtres are named Maurice. <laughs> Maurice, you are a genius. If only my parents had seen that. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if that was successful or not, but we did it at least. It's much too hot in here dressed like this. Quick now. I must write this down. Won't your your neighbors like notice if there's a man coming and going? Because I feel like that was... Was that allowed by that time? That a single woman could see a single man without them being married? Hello, Emil. Well, you're not Emil right now. The whole world is full of math. All within my reach. Blackboard. Oh, that's what the chairs were for. Hmm. Days ago, I would not have known what the ladies at the cafe expected of me. But just now, I remember the gentleman who once opened the door for me. My behavior changed. And that change transpired over... Time. X. A given parameter. Every change occurs with respect to a given parameter. That's it. Of course. Sure. That's, that probably makes a lot of sense. I'm sure it does. Knock, knock. Huh? Uh, change it to Emma, maybe? Before we open the door. Ah, oh, that's Nicole. <laughs> Emma! Am I interrupting? No, of course not. No. Today you look much happier. Today I am happier, Nicole. How are you? The same. I am always the same. Have your parents returned? No, they've gone on to Sweden. Nicole! It is time for your history lesson! History. I hate history. 
It never changes. She is cute. Hopefully we get to hear that Leo's called. That would make me very, very happy. Nicole! <laughs> Days later. Maybe go to the library? All right now, Emma, concentrate. Every change occurs over a given parameter. So to preserve a state in that change, I need to know why it's happening. I need to know why it's change, how it's changing. I need to slow it down. I need to know how it's changing. Hmm. It's a good thought, but I'm missing something else. All right, try something else to preserve a, a state in a change. Do you have Freud's jokes and their relation to the unconscious? Yes, of course. It should be in the psychology section. What about, um, oh yes. Three essays on the theory of sexuality. <laughs> on the theory of what? The sex book? There's a waiting list for that one. <laughs> May I have your name? My name? Oh, um, never mind. <laughs> of course. It's so new. I should try another approach to preserve it in a state in a change. I need to slow it down. I need to know why it's happening. I guess I don't know. If I do this. No, that's too general. All right, try something else to preserve a state in a change. So it was always the last one and I'm just an idiot. How are you today, Frau Reknichuk? I'll be Herr, Witten, Herr Wittgenstein. I heard about your father. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. You're back from Manchester. What can I do for you? Thank you. Um, what can I do for you? I wanted to return Russell's principles of mathematics and Frege's Grundgesetze der Arithmetik. Were they helpful? I've only read Frege's book. At first I believed the books were in conflict. While I was in England I studied them again and again. I almost gave up on them. It wasn't until crossing the channel, after putting both books down for a while, that I began to see the commonalities. If only I could find the right words to describe to you what that felt like. If you don't know how to talk about it, oh I'll manage, I have to get back to work. If you don't know how to talk about it, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> ha! Hmm. <laughs> Whereof one cannot speak, thereof one must be silent. A good philosophy, Frau Reknicek. Good day to you. Good day, Herr Wittgenstein. The change in his thinking came from observations. What the hell? At first he was too close, but then... That was, that was very creepy. He changed his perspective. When did Ludwig see the commonalities between the two books? And he was still in Manchester on the ferry across the channel. That's it. His change of mind came about in the few hours between Dover and Calais. A change can only be observed in a certain time frame. So it was the last thing. It was it. I have to slow it down. I'm an idiot. I need to go home and write this down. Returned books. I'll quickly put these away. Yes. Half an hour later. Reading man. I don't think he understands too much of what he's reading. Thanks to Wittgenstein, I know how to proceed. 
Leaf, I guess? Can we go? I need to go home, write down my new idea. Okay. I will listen to you, Emma. I think this is really cool that you can change. Even though a pr I don't know if I'm going to use it, but... Oh! <gasps> is that Leah's? Pardon me! I'm looking for an address. Uh, Salvatore Gasse 23. Am I headed in the right direction? Yes, you are. The building is just there. You know someone who lives there? Yes, my niece, Nicole. I've visited her a couple of times before, but I still get lost in this city. Ah, I know her. She's my upstairs neighbor, in fact. She's my friend. Yeah, she's my friend. I try to spend as much time with her as I can. That is very kind of you, madam. I'm so glad Nicole has a friend. Thank you. Please tell me, how is she? Is she happy? Yes, for the most part. To be honest, no. Eh? You are her uncle, you say? To be honest, no. My sister and her husband travel a great deal. Are they looking after her? I have never seen them. She is alone much of the time. Her governess yells at her like a sergeant in the army. I have never seen them. Oh dear, I was afraid of that. I must see her. See what I can do. Thank you. Of course, let's go. So th all of this is after the first episode. I know that. Because with Franz, it was... Uh, the Lion Song was already written. So... Hmm. So change happens over a given parameter. Hmm. Wittgenstein's thinking changed. Uh, 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 what? Every second? No, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong. No. He observed the change in a given time frame. A change can only be observed in a given time frame. Of course, I can only see a falling leaf while it is still falling. Time to impress the radius. Can I eat this? Because I want to. <laughs> okay, then we'll go out as Emil now. And go to the radius. I don't know why the market is still there. I feel like I have done most of what I can do there. But probably not and I'm missing missing some stuff. Good day. Hello. I'm just going on. And let's go in here and present the theory, I guess. The Euler method only works up to a certain point. Nonsense. You've probably just made a mistake somewhere. Why you? Again, no one can solve the problem? Ah, Shell. Why don't you try your luck with this week's problem? Salah is making them harder every week. Well, of course. So, get to it. Okay. Hi, Nana. Shell. Surely you can solve the problem on your own. Fine. Hmm. We are trying to find correlations between tr primes. Numerology. Not my strong suit. Are you freaking serious? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I'm I don't know. It's an idea, but non-conclusive. The corners that aren't primes. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, I have several things I can do apparently. There's something here. Ah! Oh, sometimes these straight lines appear. Almost. As if the numbers have a certain pattern to them. Interesting. I think. I think they do. He's got it! 
If I extrapolate. Sure, whatever whatever that I have no idea what just happened. Is that a new method to find primes? It looks conclusive. So again, gentlemen, our guest from Berlin triumphs. The lack of the Germans is with him. <laughs> Nonsense, our colleague has a gift. That is clear. I agree. It's quite remarkable. Gentlemen, gentlemen. It is only in your company that I flourish. Is he trying to ridicule us? No, you misunderstand. He might have already. You just didn't notice. I assure you. From the hospital, sir. Uh oh. Gentlemen, you must excuse me. Uh oh. Herschel, would you like to join me outside? Some Sachertorte and coffee, perhaps? My treat. Certainly. I like the music of this game so much. It's so good. Okay, so... Whoops. I, did, I wish I had a magnificent beard. Well... Ah, there he is. This is the scene. He seems busy drawing something. I don't want to intrude. Yay! Hi, Franz. Uh, can you? Okay. What was that all about? Back in the radius. Zala's sinister. Zala's sister is terminally ill with tuberculosis. I am truly sorry to hear that. My father died of it. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Father always encouraged me, believed in me. I became a mathematician because of him. I'm glad he did. I got to meet you because of him. I'm intrigued by your notions of change. States of change and the collapse of su such states. I admit I'm struggling with it. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't think so. Just wait until we get our cake. And I'll show you what it looks like. To bite off more than one can chew. <laughs> That's cute. He's cute. If you really feel that way. I probably shouldn't mention it. But this is Tsala's field too. But he is a proud man and maybe disinclined to help. Yeah, I got the feeling that was the case. I believe he's beginning to consider you a rival. You might try Eilrich. He has done some similar work. Every time I approach him, I find him asleep. <laughs> yes, he does enjoy his afternoon naps. A difficult wall to breach. Would you look at my equations? I would value your opinion. If you like. But I assure you this is outside my expertise. Now he is. That's, that's the line that we heard with Franz too. Thank you, Nana. You are a good friend. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Franz Markert. The artist? Sir, this is an honor. What can we do for you? About your friend here, Herr Schell, Emil Schell. You must forgive me, but I have been studying you from across the room. Oh? The layers of you are contradictory somehow. Layers? Contradictory? Not at war with one another, but a duality. Changing. At first I thought one thing, but later I saw another in conflict with the first. Changing, you say? I want... I must paint you. It is as weird um, as it was with him. Uh, I would be honored. Excellent. You present a challenge I have never faced before. But I promise you, I will capture you. My workshop is at Hollandstraße 10. Please come at your earliest convenience. Gentlemen, pray continue your luncheon. 
Yep, that's what we had the last time. Weird. In the beginning. Ooh, he thought differently about me than, than in the end. I must leave now. Go along. I might just help myself to another piece of Zahatot. <laughs> I need to go home and write this down. Okay. And let's go.